to this explainer video on how to uh, enter the project charter. So we're positioned on the project charter or the PC sheet within Gantt up. A reminder, you should always be working in the online version of Excel uh, because it is multi-user uh, for when you're in teams of students, you can all access the system at the same time. So, um, so this is where we will enter the information. And on this sheet and all future sheets, we're going to be entering the uh, case study project, the DECOCAM project from the textbook. So I'll be demonstrating the entry of that project into, into Ganta. Now, just a reminder to not use cut and paste uh, during the, um, during, during your, your entry in. So just enter the information. You can use copy and paste, but cut and paste causes problems. So don't do it. And I'll just demonstrate again the error message. So I'm just going to go off onto another sheet one moment onto the, uh, there's the project schedule. And if I, I'm just going to do something which is going to cause an error. It's a, it's a, it's an action that, that is out of uh, order. So, um, so this isn't something you'd normally do. So I'm just going to cause an error to, and you'll notice that this pops up immediately and it pops up on all sheets. Here it is on the project charter sheet. If you see this occur, immediately undo. And the, there is various ways to do it. Control Z is, a, is the shortcut for undo. So if I press a Control Z, it makes it go away. It makes it undoes. It, it took out that action. And, and that's your signal to Gantt up that, whoops, something went wrong. Okay, so okay, so let's go back to Project Charter. So you're going to enter all the fields. Now, again, this is for the case study, not for your project assignment. So the project uh, name from the case study is a standard name. So you will name yours something unique. Uh, I'm just going to paste it in just so I'm not uh, typing too long. Um, and so this is the DECOCAM uh, project name. Next, you enter the date this was produced. Now, in, in the case study, it is in 2026. It's not the current year. So when you're entering dates in, in Gantt up, the best way to do it um, is what I really recommend is, is to enter an alphanumeric date, not um, you know all numerics because it can get confusing. So it is March 25th. 2026. So if I just entered March 26 and pressed enter, the system would assume, and, and notice there's a pop-up window there, we can we can uh, uh, find the date that we want to, the, to uh, use the date picker. So we could use this, okay, to enter the date there. Uh, but if I press enter, it will show up as 2024. Now it's 2026 that I want to do. So normally, just back up. If I say March 25th, 2026, uh, it will enter correctly. Okay. So that, that's what I really recommend. If it's the current year, you don't have to enter the year if it's the same year as we're in. Okay. Now for the uh, project goals, you just type in the goals, the, the goal or goal is the project. Again, I'm going to copy it in. It's just a little faster than you watching me typing, but you would type this in and, and press enter. Now notice in, in Gantt up, there is a limited space. You this is the space you this is the space you have. You don't have additional space. So work within the constraints. Don't exceed the the um the amount of space on this. Okay. Now for objectives, it uses point form. So I'm just gonna show you how to do, if you want to do bullet points. Uh, so I'm gonna say the objectives, this is straight out of the textbook of the project are by May 8th, 2026. Okay, now if I just press return here, it will think I'm done. Right. So 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 if I press enter or return, it'll think I'm done. So what you do is you you hold down the alt key and press enter. OK, that just drops you down to the next line. And then I'll put in the next bullet point. Update. Oops, I have cap lock, locks on. 
update the product information on the company website and printed materials. That's again from, from the, uh, the textbook. And again, I'd hold the Alt key down, press Enter, and I can enter my next one. And you just keep doing that. I won't. I won't keep. Uh, I won't keep entering it. Okay. So you would, uh, you know, eventually press Enter. Okay. So I will just copy and paste the full one. So I'll just take this out and paste in the full and then press enter. Okay. So that's what that's what you you should do. But again, remember to hold down the alt key. Uh the um budget is sixty thousand dollars. You don't have to enter the dollar sign or commas and so on. Um Excel will automatically format it for you. The project sponsor again I'll copy this in because of the amount of typing. Notice we we put the job title or the uh, uh, position, the, the name of the, the, the person's title in. Uh, the project manager, as you know, in the textbook is Sophie Featherstone, and so on. You have room for up to um, three um, additional key stakeholders. So you can enter them here again you can, I'll just enter the first one. Okay, so for example, Casey Serador uh, is the CEO of Deco Productions. And there are two more in the, in the, uh, in the textbook. Uh, I won't enter them now, but uh, you can enter up to four. Okay, now for the overall pro project milestones, there is room for five, and two of them are standard. It's when does the um, when when does the project start? Well, in the textbook, it is March twenty third, twenty twenty six. Again, I have to enter the year because it's not the current year. Okay, uh, and then I'm just going to skip down to the other one that is preset, uh, May thirteenth. 2026 is the milestone of when we expect this project to be done. Now, there are three that allow open ones that allow you to enter three additional milestones. Now, this is something for you to think about. What are the key points in your project? For example, it might be the, um, you know, the project charter uh, published. Maybe that's a milestone. I'm not saying it should be. It would be after that the project starts. So maybe it's April 1st, 2026, and so on. The one milestone, so you should you should uh, include up to three um, three milestones, three additional milestones in addition to the, the two standard ones. If this is an event project, if, if your group assignment is for an event, one of your milestones should be the event itself. Right, that is a key milestone within an event-based project. Right, so uh, you know that could be something, event date or day. You know, maybe maybe that's scheduled for May fifth, two thousand twenty-six. If that was relevant to this, it's not. DecoCam's not a the, the case study project is not an event, so this wouldn't be relevant for the DecoCam. I'm just showing you for for example purposes. And then finally, there are room for up to four uh, overall project risks. Uh, in the DECOCAM uh, example, there were two that were listed. So one was errors are present in the product launch materials. But that's, enter you can enter up to four, but I'll just enter the one. Uh, so that is uh, the entry of the project uh, charter uh, information into Gantup. Thanks for watching.